Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, the channel that's all about the art of being ill. My name is Caroline and today I am going to tell you about the first time I had a colonoscopy. So I had my first um, colonoscopy when I was 22 due to the fact that I had just been diagnosed with Morbus Crohn and they wanted to see what on earth was going on in my bowel. <laughs> A colonoscopy is where you take a tiny camera and you put it up the butt. Yes, the butt. To see what's going on inside the bowel. Which makes sense when I have a bowel disease. Makes sense, they wanna see that, right? I mean. So my first time was literally a living hell. My mom was with me and she can tell you that it really, really was. She always says she's not quite sure who was more traumatized, me or her. I was. When you're getting a colonoscopy, you have to prep for it. And three, four days before, as an example, you can't eat seeds. And this is because it takes a long time for seeds to get through the digestive system. And 24 hours before uh, the procedure, you have to drink this really disgusting laxative. <laughs> and you also have to fast, so you can't eat anything from 24 hours before the procedure. I was starving! And I'm not a nice person when I'm hungry. About five hours after I drank the laxative... Sorry. <clears throat> I started to poop. And when I say poop, I mean poop. Diarrhea all over the place. Like, oh my God. It was just, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm gonna stop because um, it's just too disgusting to tell you. On top of that, I had to drink one more glass of laxative about six hours after the first one. So that also meant that I was up most of the night with diarrhea. When I finally got to the hospital, I was just exhausted and I was so hungry. I was starving and I get into the hospital and I'm gonna have the procedure. They are prepping for the procedure and everything. And then they gave me some local anesthetic because it's not so bad that you need to be put to sleep. And so it began. And oh my God, the pain. I mean, literally, did they give me any anesthesia at all? Oh my God. The pain was so horrible. I've never, like, that, wow. <laughs> it was so bad. I was, you know, you're, you're lying on your side and you're lying on your left side. It has something to do with the way the bowel is. But I was lying on the side um, facing the screen that where the doctor could tell what was going on inside of my bowel, you know, so they could see what they were doing. And I remember this insane pain. Like, like someone is stabbing you in your bowel. And then I just see on that screen, I see blood. Blood. And I almost fainted. <laughs> I was tired, I was starving, and they had, after all, even though it didn't work, given me a little local anesthetic, so you know, so I was a little confused as well. I wasn't completely aware, but still aware. Like it was so weird. And it was just, I, w I remember I was crying so, so bad because it hurt. And I was just seeing blood on the screen and the blood came from apparently them hitting my bowel wall. I mean, <gasps> so they had to stop the procedure. Thank God. The only thing was that then they had to schedule a new colonoscopy because they couldn't finish this one. 
But at least even though I had to go through all the prepping and all that crap again, at least they were gonna put me to sleep the second time. Ah. Uh, just a little fun fact, actually. Uh, when I was done with my second colonoscopy, uh, where they put me to sleep, when I woke up, I remember the nurse telling me that the drug they used to put me to sleep was the same drug that Michael Jackson died from. So when I was done with that second colonoscopy where they put me to sleep on the same drug that Michael Jackson died from, I spoke to the doctor who performed the uh, procedure. And um, he actually said, I don't understand why they didn't put you to sleep the first time. Because young women's bowels tend to be hard to navigate without hitting the bowel wall. What? So you're telling me that that horrible traumatizing experience never had to happen? But now it's, you know, it's in my file that I have to be put to sleep if they want to do a colonoscopy. Thank you. This was just like, this was honestly, seriously, very traumatizing. Uh, like I said, my mommy was even traumatized because she was with me and she was seeing me cry and in pain and all that. It, she's traumatized as well. And the worst thing about the whole experience is it never had to happen. If the doctor who sent me to the first colonoscopy hadn't skipped the class where they told them about young women's bowels being hard to navigate, I never had to experience it. I actually, I have one last like kind of fun story from the last colonoscopy I was, I, I just had in December 2020. Um, <laughs> because they put me to sleep like and all that and everything was fine. And I remember I, I, when I woke up, the nurse had just put me in the um, recovery room in, in my bed. And... <laughs> And that was fine, of course. I was a little like a little confused and a little how you are when you wake up from these things. And I remember at one point I was like, I started to feel something underneath my sheets. <laughs> and I realized that I had my underpants and my pants on, which of course had been removed for the procedure. And I remember thinking, how the beep did I get it on. Like, I don't remember putting on my underwear and my pants. Like, I really... <laughs> so I remember being like, what the, what on earth happened? And I, I, I said to the nurse, I think it's a little weird that I don't remember putting on, you know, underwear and pants. Do you think, do you think someone in there did it? Like the, one of the nurses in there or something? And she told me that maybe, or maybe you did it yourself. And I was like, but I don't remember that I did it. <laughs> And she told me that apparently when they put you to sleep like that, you can actually wake up but still not be conscious, but for some reason be able to do what you're told. So I could have been told to put on my pants, go put on my pants without being conscious. So I could have done it myself without knowing. That was actually a possibility. And I just remember thinking, oh crap, what else did I do? If I actually put on my underwear and my pants, myself what else did i do or say i'm not even sure that i want to know so everyone that was today's video i hope you really liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it would just mean so much to me you can also go follow me on my instagram that is also called funny enough the art of being ill have a blessed rest of the day and I'll see you next time right here on my channel, The Art of Being Ill.